unfortunately, Lyric Glass tested positive for COVID. We are going to be doing geocaching along the way as safely as we can. But, geez, oh my gosh. Even though I was expecting it, I still got scared. I see our faces. My hat's in the way. Yeah. You gotta turn your hat around. Okay. We have to move closer to the horse. But you can see it. I, my face is okay. all white. Remove, remove, remove. Okay. So. It's got my big belly. <laughs> so go like this. Hold. Is it going? Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at you. Well, we got uh, two images, and uh, we can see uh, it's pretty good. But uh, we're going to try and go to see if we can get another image that's even better. Sure. This is it. Bada bing, bada boom. And the camera is right there. I see the camera. Right there. Because it only let you take one at a time. Drippy, drip, drip, drip. So, how many uh, webcam caches do you have? Let us know in the comments below. Do you have one, five, none? You started? Where are you? Let us know. He looks really thirsty. Boom. And then we're in South Dakota, just like that. And we're gonna be doing another webcam. That's right, another. Of course you knew that. That's what this was all about. Now, this one is at the university, I think. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it was a bit of a challenge for this one because the link gave us a blank page and then there was only two links on it the first one you click nothing happens a second and you have to click the second one and it gives you a grainy black and white image that kind of goes back and forth back and forth back and forth so uh now it's just over here just 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 right here got to walk uh right, right right through there and then uh there then we have the webcam And wait, what? We're in Iowa. This doesn't look like Iowa. There's a lake, there's water, there's beaches, there's boats, everything. Yeah, this is Iowa. Just on the northern end, kind of like uh, just below Minnesota, we're at a lake, Ojakobi, whatever, I don't know, what, something like that. And there's two webcams here, two, two. And the first one, uh, we gotta go out on this little walkway right there, look, right there. And then uh, we got to get uh, the banner over the edge, so it's in the thing. And if you look at the webcam image, uh, just down right about me, these boats are in the image right there. There's These boats are in the image. And then way over here, uh, along the edge, right there. Uh, we got to stand over there somewhere, but that'll be in the in the image. And we're going to hang the banner out, so that's a little more obvious. Because right now, you look at it, it's going to be, we're going to be way far away. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but we're in the frame there, and it's time delayed, about a minute. Because I saw myself walk by and then back, and now we're, we're in the frame, we're standing there. Uh, it was really hard to see, uh, but we got it. And I took a, a shot when we were there, and we rolled up the banner, walked away, then I got another shot. Yeah, so, we're there. And I got video. Next up, we took a short drive over to the Barefoot Bar and found a parking spot. Once there, we had to figure out how to maneuver ourselves into the camera position without interacting with anyone. We needed to get here from over here. We found that we could walk along the docks where there were no people at all to get into position 
And then once we got our picture, we got out of there quickly. After that webcam, we headed for home. We picked up the odd uh, traditional at a rest area or a virtual if we were nearby, but other than that, we just headed straight for home. It was a 4,300 kilometer drive and we did it in 72 hours. It wasn't what we wanted to do, it was what we needed to do. It seemed like it was the best choice we had under the circumstances. Some people will not agree with what we did for geocaching. We should have just stayed in the car the whole time. But for us to get through it, we needed to stop. And we made a beeline from Washington straight back to home. And if there was a webcam between there and here at home, we were going to get it. There was one webcam that we didn't go to, and that's in Wisconsin. Uh, we still don't have that one, but that was a little bit out of our way, and that's not what we were trying to do. We were trying to do it as safely and as quickly as possible. So, hope you enjoyed this turning lemons into lemonade. We took a bad situation and brought from it what we could to at least get something out of it for having lost a major portion of our geocation. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, coming up will be a lot of geocaching around Geo Woodstock and British Columbia and the Northwest. Thanks for watching. Where will geocaching take you?